Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Shadow and Sun Show. Today, we are going to be finally uh, building or making uh, these ice creatures after uh, a while of a thing about how we're going to do it and uh, wanting to do them. Uh, now, I kind of... Uh, it wasn't as uh, good uh, as fun as I expected, for uh, <laughs> quite a few reasons. Yes, we, we received a few hit points of damage putting these projects together, so a couple of tips. Use the sharpest blade you can. Cut but away don't, you're, don't, don't, don't uh, cut yourself. Yeah, cut, um, away from, cut away from yourself. One thing uh, that I noticed, especially, <laughs> um, when I use this, two minutes in, I already cut myself extremely badly. So he started using this one. But I wanted to use it for something small, and he started using this one. Now two seconds pass, and he cut himself. Yes, so we're going to look um, into... I would recommend using a knife like this over, a knife. over a knife like this. But make sure the blades are nice and sharp. You may even have to clean the blades up while working on it. As you can see, this one has some glue residue that will accrue as you're working on the project rather quickly. So you're going to want to either wash them off, clean them off, or have a couple of spare blades handy so that you can use the sharpest blade possible. Basically we made an ice elemental and we haven't really finished yet. We're making, sorry, you're right. We well we put it we made all the pieces. You yeah, made we, we cut up we cut out all the pieces and we're gonna go through that. But the first will be an ice elemental that will hopefully fit on this Whiz Kids base and hopefully be about as tall as this Fire elemental. If you put him on this base, which gives him like, like yes, small. Like it gives him a small little height thing. extra. Also, uh, and then he created his gigantic ice crystal golem. Yeah, I actually thought that if you remember from a few months ago, the fire elemental that I made, I was expecting the ice elemental to be around that big, and uh, just the only difference is he'd be he'd be shorter, or I guess. Because, uh, like, he actually needs legs and stuff instead of just being a torso with arms. But, um, yeah, so I expected it to be around that big, maybe having a Pringle lid base, which, as people who have uh, seen our videos for a while or crafts for a while know, um, Pringle lids are often what we use, except on this time where we used a much bigger base, which is actually, I think, almost the exact same size as the. Gargantuan Dragon's base? Yes. Um, should I go get it? No, no, okay. no, no. They, they've got one they know. Yeah. It's or, or basically... Look back at the old video. It's basically that exact size. So basically, what I have here... is the head, the two arms, the torso, and the legs. I also have some pieces here for hands and other things. And I'm going to be assembling him with a little bit of super glue. While the little guy is going to be hot gluing the larger model together. You want to do that now? Yeah, you can go ahead and start, you know, gluing the arms and legs and, you know, uh, start with the legs so that you can position it on the base. We also have some Hearst Arts molds pieces that we're going to be sprucing up the miniature base with. When we're done, I'll just give these a, a, a black bomb. Uh, just hand brush them, primer black, and then, you know, do some uh, gray dry brushing. And then when we're finished with all of them, we'll be hitting them all up with some Valhalla and Blizzard from Citadel. We really love this product. I'm probably going to go out and buy two more bottles of it this weekend. Uh, it's a little expensive, but of all the snow effects, yeah. nothing really does it like this. Right? Uh, can you help me with mark these areas? Because it's mm -hmm. kind of... What do you want me to do exactly? Uh, so that, hold, it, hold this? Uh, yeah, just hold them there and try to also use your other hand to maybe hold that, that okay. one leg. Okay. So I can uh, first. Um, well, you want to make sure that this spear goes back into the into the ground, right? Yeah, I might want to line it up with that hole. Okay. Are you using super glue or hot glue? Hot glue. Okay. Because I feel like that's better if you. Yeah, it's faster. Super glue is never. 
fast? No. Um, until we get some spray activator, we're going to have to go with uh, baking baking soda to get the quick set or... Okay, um, now that I have... This is all command over here on this side. Okay, let me okay, uh, try to line them up so that that goes there. We will be giving this base a coat of the the cheaper version of Snow Effect, which is the baking soda. So I shouldn't glue them to the base yet? Yeah, no, definitely glue them to the base. The baking soda, white glue, and white paint, just to get a larger coating of just, you know, regular snow, not the clumpy looking snow. And then around his feet and maybe on his shoulders and things like that, we will hit it up with the Valhalla and Blizzard. Okay, I think... Yeah, that's good. Get that little spider webby action going on there. Is this the scythe blade thing? Yeah. Or a, yeah. Do you think I should add it because you're not technically done with it? No, actually, uh, I, we're probably going to have to wait because I need to carve it. Yeah. Um, and with my finger being out of commission, it uh, just I just couldn't finish yeah, it. Yeah, also, uh, when I glued the spikes here, um, which I thought might have made it easier, but I forgot that he he had done these, it actually made it a, a lot harder for him to get that yeah, in that, here. Isn't that how I cut myself or was it no no else? it was something else yeah so if you're going to put the spikes on his head and here let's put let's put him down so you could go over the, what you did with the head because you did a really good job on that i think yeah uh should i get the crystal no one? just show okay. up close so, to the camera. um the first thing i did is i took one of these crystal clear gem things i'm not sure if you can see it it's well you probably can it's just covered by a bunch of stuff it's the main base of it which is the same thing i did the base for the what's it called the purple the, crystal gold elemental thing. You're right. Um, but you can get these at any craft store. They come in a yeah. bulk bag. Then, um, I put three of these blue gems because I wanted it to look different from that one because there's, technically there's no real correlation between them at all. I just, other than they're made of a crystal-like material. They also match the one on his, on his chest. Yeah, it's this, yeah. Well, actually, is it so, the same color? It's close uh, enough. Yeah, it's close enough. There's a, there's a dark blue gem in most packs and a light blue gem, and you know, that's what we went with. Yeah. And then I wanted three spikes because he has three eyes. Um, I also, tech, well, he's a golem. Not Carve one. the spikes out, then glue them to the head. Yeah. That, that will save you a lot of... Uh, also, if I were to ever headache. make, like, an ice elemental lord, um, well, technically you can use this as that, and it would still technically work because mm -hmm. of the giant size. Mm-hmm. And also because of how I made the three, the almost crown-like appearance of this head. I think you can technically I mean, use I them as a, an turned elemental out pretty good. lord. The head's definitely my favorite part. But if you wanted to make like an ice elemental lord or something, which we will eventually probably do whenever we feel like doing it. Next winter. Probably. <laughs> um, it's probably going to be very similar. Why don't you uh, glue him to his, the base? Do you need well, help with that? his head on first. No, no, because you want to kind of tilt the head. God, that looks really good, actually. Yeah. Well, um, should I glue my... it on first? No, no, no. Because should I glue you... him to the base? Yeah, because I need to get working on this little guy here. So I think you can do that with just one so hand. I just put a tiny piece of glue? Well, uh, let me do this first. Uh, just so that they can actually see me doing this. Um... Is this good? Yeah, I like that. Uh, do you think the connection's fine? Even though... Well, another reason Does why... Does it stand? That's, that's the main thing. You like how this looks? Yeah, I do, actually. Mm, okay. I suppose it meant to be like this? Like, have his arm, like, swinging like this? Or to be the opposite like this? I think this looks better. So, is it, is it like this? Let me see. Because you wanted to attach the blade, so yeah, like this? yeah, something like that. It's it's meant to be like an upward swing, or swinging down, I should say.
a lot of string or web, whatever you want to call this. Time. Yeah, it's one of the only things I don't like about the hot glue gun. But if you put on some good reading glasses like I'm wearing now, and you really get a good look, you can kind of get them all off. Well, um, yeah. Uh, I guess this is pretty much it for now. Uh, uh, wait, look. Do you think that, like, this looks good? Is he standing up without falling over? That's the important thing. And well, yeah, but, like, this, do you like how it looks, like, probably like No, this? the sides should go the other way, probably. Oh, uh, like this? Yeah, just so when we get balance and... Look, like this. Um, I would actually go a little more like traditional and we'll probably actually have to cut the hand the opposite way so it's more like this. So it'll look more dynamic. Okay. Then, yeah, I'm fine with that. Well, anyways... You, wanna, guess... you could start putting those things on the base if you'd like. Um, Put the biggest one, the biggest piece in the back. Wanna, yeah. Uh, because that way... Oh, it's breaking. Yeah, it, that's fine. Um, that way, it has the most weight in the back to counteract its weight. It's like only, let's let's. I, I kind of like. It. Yeah, I kind of like to look a little better like that. Yeah. And then go ahead and hot glue all those pieces wherever you want. And then when we cover it with the snow effects, we're going to avoid those things. But we're going to paint it uh, first so that we don't get black paint on the snow. Also, uh, you probably noticed, but there's a different hot glue gun. Uh, it's a that's because of, it's a different hot glue gun. Yeah, you get that for Christmas. Yes. Um, probably won't use this one. That's really good, Jack. Cool. I almost wish I used the hot glue gun to putting this guy together. The super glue is not my friend today. Oh, yeah, I just remembered. Do you like him? Yeah, yeah, let's put something in that big center spot so it doesn't look so uh, Yeah, open. at the same time, uh, something I noticed, well, you know, like, yeah. Um, I also wanted it to uh, seem like you could technically walk through him, because you probably yeah. could. Oh, definitely. Yeah, an ogre could walk under there without troubles. Yeah. So far, I'm still waiting. He looks a little derpy right now, but I'm going to cover some of the problems here at the hips with uh, the Valhalla and Blizzard. I'm going to give him kind of like a uh, sort of a caveman looking uh, loincloth sort of Tarzan-esque uh, effect with the, the Blizzard, make it look like he's wearing clothes sort of made out of snow. But the super glue is, like I said, drying very slowly. Let's see if I can get this other arm on and then I will mount him to the base. Uh, Got a problem? Or just the snow, uh, the spider webs? But yeah, also he's leaning forward a bit. 
And I'm not sure if I like it him leaning forward or if I like him better. Uh, I kind of like it a little more leaning forward just so that it's more... Yeah, like also one thing I don't like is uh, how there's like a yellow light shining through instead of a slight bluish light. But that's just because light is often yellow. Okay, are we going to start putting the snow effects on? Uh, you know what, I would like it if you added a little bit more hot glue to the base. Right there, I can see that it just looks not like a very good, yeah, there you go, connection. Should I tilt them backwards so that it all flows down? Yeah, if that, if that will help you dry the super glue. I mean, the well, no, glue. I just want it to all but puddle in there mm -hmm. so that it holds them up better. Because if you notice, it's on a very strong connection. Uh, it's not a very strong connection there. Then maybe do the same thing? No, that's the same one. Oh, okay. Just a different angle for me. Yeah. Look how it turned out? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, uh, this little guy, uh, I... <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> the I, I should have cut the legs at a little bit of an angle. But I can fix that with the, the Valhalla and Blizzard. Maybe a couple of little tiny pieces of... Yeah, also, look, I, it's very difficult to make something that small. Yes, I definitely learned my lesson with that. Well, are we going to... Also, you probably should have used the hot glue then, because then they melt together. Yeah. It's like using I may, I may go. I may go back over it with the hot glue then. No, at this point, I don't think it'll matter. I don't think it'll look really good. Yeah, I just don't like how he's leaning forward. Well, I kind of do. Really? Yeah. Like, he probably would be leaning forward, but yeah. when you look at him from above, it doesn't look as good. You gonna use this piece? It looks like it's filled with leaves, though. It's just a, a part of a column. I, you don't have to use it if you don't want to. I wouldn't put it there, though. I would just lay it flat in the snow or leave it as it is and... Yeah, I like it the way it is. So... Would yeah, I, I feel like he should have been in a more dynamic pose. Yeah, I... I, I, I'm hesitating to uh, glue it to the, the base so that I can do that off camera later and have it just ready for the Sunday show. Oh, so are you still going to paint him? Oh, yes. Are we going to paint this guy? Well, actually, you know what I realized? I did wrong. I put the legs on the wrong side. That's why it wasn't looking as good. Because oh. I had these. Oh, so you didn't ones. use the glue gun this time? Uh. Yeah, if you can give me a little hand, I just need a tiny little drop. Right. The tiniest right, drop. Right there. Okay. That. That should do it. Yeah, that's that's. that's it. No, no, that, but that's more than enough. It's still yeah. not as good as I envision, but it looks like I can get the leg at a better, better angle. And I don't have to worry about it holding it for a half hour. To, okay, now another drop here, please. Just a small? Yeah. Okay, right, same I'm spot. Trying not to, I don't think you need to hold it there. You make yeah. it bad. That's plenty. Oh, don't worry. I, I've been burnt by the hot glue gun. We all have. Better? Sport? Oh, definitely. Yeah. Well, you should probably, I think you should still move it like a bit closer. But if that's not possible, it still looks good. Maybe just make a little rock to balance them out and just cover it in snow. Oh, wait, no, you don't even have to do that. Well, he even he balances? Yeah. Well, does he balance regularly? Yeah, well, well, maybe we just got maybe lucky. because it's not a flat surface. Yeah, maybe we just got yeah. lucky. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyways, I'll show you a size comparison. Let me put them in the base first. Yeah, because this guy isn't gonna help. You know, what, let's use the hot glue gun for the base too. Just so uh, should I put them on his legs or just on on his feet? Just one okay, here. Uh, one. Let me do it like that so it doesn't drip. Oh, that's a little much, but that's fine. And one there. Awesome. Let's see if I can get him.
All right. Turn around. Let's. Put... Well, he's actually shorter. <laughs> Okay, I have this uh, strange, I have this problem, but these are actually, they're actually... Pretty close to the same size. Yeah, they are the same size. I have this problem, for some reason I think miniatures are a lot smaller than they actually are. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. Like these birds, remember the birds I was going to use, and I thought that they were just the size of a regular miniature? Right, and they were huge. But they were only half the size of a regular miniature? Yeah. Well, those birds, like I wanted to use them as like, as like something specific. Um, so they, they were actually the right size, but I thought that they were, like, I thought we were using, like, 25 millimeter scale or something. I didn't think it was 25 millimeter scale, but I just got the scale wrong. And that happened a lot. That happened with that. I thought he'd be way taller than a regular person. I mean, he is, but so is this guy. Yeah. Also, is this smaller scale? That's 28. Oh, okay. I hope so. Let's put everybody up for a glamour shot as we say goodnight to the so, nice folks at home. Uh, this doesn't count. So. Poor Bill's oh. got his hands full now. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope this is helpful. We have a few little things to finish up on this project. That's usually par for the course with us. You'll see them uh, completed in the Sunday Show Up Show, which will be not this Sunday, but the next. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great evening. Like and subscribe. And uh, share this if you uh, know someone who might benefit from any of the info here, especially the parts about not cutting yourself. <laughs> and uh, we hope you guys have a great weekend. See you then. Goodbye.